of my life, worst experience I've ever had in my shit. I get out the car so fast and I crash the f out on these kids. <laughs> LeVar already got the gun in his hand, disarmed the YN, hit the YN with a couple of them, probably like two, three hits. And I'm like, bro, where's LeVar? He has the backpack. Cam goes, LeVar's in the hospital. I gotta clap it up to y'all San Diego. I just have to clap it up to y'all San Diego. You guys single-handedly are the reason why. Me, Cam, Quincy, Rondo, uh, LeVar, Ray, Wagyu, you're the reason why us, that we will never, ever, ever go back to San Diego for a park takeover or basketball event. Y'all YNs really, y'all YNs really did it to us, man. And. As being the person on the team with the least clout, I think that it's only right that I give y'all my perspective coming from someone that's not used to this type of stuff. So I'm gonna just break down exactly what happened through my lens, seeing it, like being on Cam's team, but seeing how everything went on. I'm gonna break it down to you from my lens, start to finish, and let's do it, bro. Come on. Mind y'all, it's 1.35 in the morning. This happened today. Technically yesterday, but it happened like seven hours ago. I just got back in my house. I go on TikTok. I see like three different videos of me dunking. And then I see a bunch of videos of Cam going live explaining what happened. So I'm like, dang, this stuff is really going up. So I'm like, all right, bet. It's 1.35. I should be sleeping, but I'm going to just give y'all my perspective of what happened today. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, cool. Bro, I'm texting Quincy. I said, yo, I'm at the park. I'm not going to lie to you. It's pretty deep. He like, all right, bet. We're gonna be there at 5.30, just be there. I'm like, all right, bet, I'm there. I'm texting LeVar as well because LeVar was supposed to wear my mic when he pulled up. So I'm like, yo, he's like, yeah, bro, I'm still, we on the way, we on the way. I'm like, all right, cool. They get out the car. As soon as they get out the car, bro, Cam, LeVar, Quincy, Kenny, Chow, all of them, bro, the kids start rushing. They start rushing to him. Mind you, they don't know me at this point, so nobody's coming my way, which is great. Bro, they rushing towards Cam and them. I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. Just to get to LeVar to give him the mic was a process, and I'm gonna show y'all right now. Oh, it begins. The real ones are pulled up, court jumping. Now I gotta get in there and find Quincy. Boy, oh boy. This is about to be a mission to try to get to this man, bro. Cool, so LeVar got the mic, now he's mic'd up. Bro, before the game even started, all these kids are on the court to the point where they couldn't even shoot free throws because the kids were all the way on the free throw line. They were on the lane. Like the court wasn't, un wasn't open. We trying to tell people to back up. Everybody just want to get a picture with Ken. They want to get a picture with Quincy. They want to get a picture with LeVar. I'm like, bro, for some reason, these YNs think that it's cool to have splatter guns and have all this stuff. Bro, this 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 dummy pulls up with a with a little splatter ball. I got hit twice. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. I'm like, dang, because I'm standing next to LeVar. I guess they were trying to hit him, but they hit me. I got hit in the crossfire. I'm like, ah, ah, cool. LeVar gets hit. I'm like, wait a second, who did that? All the kids start pointing at this one who try to run. LeVar, boom, boom, hawk him down. I'm still holding the camera. Before I can even turn around, bro, LeVar already in the grass. I turn around, I hear the commotion. I'm looking for him, and I'm like, wait a second, LeVar? And I'm seeing over it. LeVar already got the gun in his hand, took, disarmed the YN. Hit the YN with a couple of them, probably like two, three hits. Shoot that bitch again, I'm gonna beat your bitch ass, nigga. Stop hurting me. wallet so i'm sitting there like yo is this how these things normally go like is this how these things actually go i'm tripping cool lavar break the stuff this mind y'all this is before the game even started the game has not started yet the game has not started lavar has already broken that stuff so i'm like wow this is crazy wow i'm just happy to be here cool now i'm filming lavar lavar making these little jokes or whatever and now it's game time cool lavar had hurt himself previously, bro. So we we had just done the takeover in Venice, and I was there for that. This is crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. that. 
So we played in Venice Saturday, technically. So right now it's technically Monday, but really it's like Sunday night. Venice takeover was Saturday. San Diego was today, Sunday. Cool. I'm in there like, all right, but we got to figure something out. Like we got to figure something out. LeVar is already limping. The game has just started. LeVar is already like, ah, bro, Nez, bro, my knee, bro, this stuff, this stuff, uh-uh, like, bro, this stuff, it's, it's cooked, it's cooked. I'm like, excuse me? So he like, bro, my knee is cooked. He like, you might need to sub in for me, gang. And I'm like, dog, I had my Pumas on because I was ready to hoop just in case, but I was there filming him, so I didn't think that he was actually going to be like, yo, you might need to hop in and play. Turns out, bro's like, hey, dog, hop in and play. I'm like, oh, all right, say that, cool. Put my camera in my bag. Remember every detail of the story, y'all. All these things matter. I forgot a part. Okay, cool. When I got to the court initially, Cam comes up to me with his shoes. He had his Burks. Remember the Burks. Cam come up to me with his Burks. I got Cam's Burks. I got Quincy slides. I got Rondo's shoes. And I have LeVar's. I, I don't think I had anything in LeVar's. But I had Cam's Burks, Rondo's shoes, and Quincy's shoes. They said, hey, bro, is there anywhere you can put these? Because they took an Uber to the venue, so they didn't have a car they could leave their stuff in. I drove my own car. So I said, yeah, Cam, I'll put this stuff in my car. He's like, all right, bet. Cam gives me the shoes. Rondo gives me the shoes. Quincy gives me the shoes. I leave them in my car. Remember every detail. At the end of the story, all this will make sense. But remember the details. Cool. Now, I sub in the game. I sub in. I'm like, oh, shoot. I'm really out here with Cam Wilder and them. Like, all right, bet. I gotta go crazy. Man, what? I had dunk. Dunk that shit! Dunk that shit! Oh. I had a lot from Cam that I dunked. I had a drop step dunk, I had a lay. Me and Cam, Cam out there getting a, I passed the Cam, Cam laid his kid, grabbed the ball off the net, put it in his chest, bark at him. I'm like, dang Cam, like he about to fight him or something. Bro, I'm having the time of my life. I'm hooping in front of thousands of people for the first time ever people actually see me. Bro, I went from having no motion ever to after the game, bro, I guarantee you, I kid you not, I took over 200 pictures. They asking for my picture, they asking for my autograph. I signed a forearm, I signed a forehead, I signed an index finger, I signed a shirt. It's parents kind of coming up to me talking about something. Oh my gosh, can you please take a picture of my kid? I'm like, yes, of course. I'm taking pictures with the kids, I'm giving them bracelets. I don't have any, I usually have eight bracelets on, bro. I have no bracelets, I gave them all away off my wrist to kids. Cause I'm just, I'm just living in the moment like, wow, this is what it's like to be famous. Asking for pictures, I'm sitting there. Whole time, bro, I'm just living in it. I'm happy to be here, bro. I'm just happy to be here, cool. This is where everything goes south. So during the game, it already almost got shut down once because I dunked. So I came down the lane, <laughs> one, two, Dude, I'm hanging on the rib. I'm doing all the extra stuff. I come down. I came down like this. I came down. I said, I said, I said, hold on, let me back up. I said, just looking around at everybody. They, these people start to storm the court, bro. The kids are storming the court. They running up to me. They coming up to me with pictures and stuff. So now I'm in half court in the very middle. All these kids start surrounding me. They're like, hey, hey. I'm sitting like this. Just trying to live in the moment and have fun. So they already stormed the court once. Getting them off the court is a seven minute process just to get these kids to back up. Just to get them to back up, bro. We said, back up, back up, bro. We need space, we need space. They're not trying to back up. Cam's starting to get pissed. I'm starting to get pissed. Quincy's starting to get pissed. Kenny's starting to get pissed. We're all starting to get, Rondo's starting to get pissed. We're all mad. Cause why are y'all on the court? Just back up and watch so that we can all have fun today, please. Bro, the game, so the game continues, but it's hard to get it back on track because all the kids are swarming the court. So it's hard to get everybody to space back out because everybody wants to get pictures with people. Everybody wants to get autographs. And these kids just don't listen when we're trying to tell them, bro, just back up. Please just back up. Please, please back up. Cool. The game is over. We win. All right, all that stuff is over. This is where it starts to get super hectic. We're trying to start the next game, bro. While we're trying to start the game, the court is back flooded because all the kids are trying to get close to Cam and Quincy and take all these pictures. Now that I didn't have all these dunks and stuff, people are starting to get pictures with me. I'm sitting there doing the, the Adderall dance or whatever, and they be like, doom, 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 doom. I'm doing all that and all these pictures, bro, trying to you know be cool with these little kids that's taking these pictures. The stuff was valid. But 
at the same time, we're trying to get the next game started because we sitting there waiting, but we're trying to get the next game going. And there's a team saying, we got next. There's another team saying, nah, 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 we don't care about y'all, nah, we had next. Then another team comes in, nah, we got next, we got next. So three teams are saying they got next. Nobody wants to get off the court because obviously everybody wants to play against Cam Wilder. Everybody wants to be in a YouTube video. So while they're trying to get in this video, they're all saying we have next. We sitting there just sitting there like, bro, what are y'all doing? Stop taking this time. Cause kids are still coming for pictures. Kids are still asking for autographs and we can't get another game started because nobody wants to get off the court. So the court is still flooded. I look at Cam, I said, Cam, what are you trying to do? Cam said, dog, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gone. I'm like. Tried to warn y'all during the game. I told him during the game. I literally walked around telling him, bro, this is the last warning. If Cam, like, if we have to warn y'all again, Cam is gonna leave. All of this, you guys are all here to watch Cam. That's it. If he leaves, you guys are going home. The only reason why you're here is to watch Cam. Cam is like, nah, I'm gone. I'm like, all right, Ben. Cool. We walking away. So now we're trying to walk to the parking lot. So the park, we in San Diego. So it's like a basketball court right here, a beach right here, and then a parking lot back there. The thing is though, the walk to the parking lot was probably like maybe a minute, but a minute. Think about a minute, but there is 2,000 people there. So you have to walk between people. You have to get pictures. You have to sign autographs. You have to do this. A mom wants you to take a picture with their kid. A dad wants you to take a picture with his two daughters. These people are coming up for, can you sign my this? Can you sign my back? Can you sign my index finger? Can you sign my forehead? Can you sign this? We doing all that stuff. But we're still trying to make our way to the Uber. We get close. I say, Cam, bro, your Burks are in my car. <sighs> we both give each other the same face. Because we, we have in this conversation, like me and Cam, but between us is, I kid you not, 200 kids. And I'm like, bro, Cam, the bursts are still in my car. We look at each other like this. Because my car's in a parking lot that's adjacent, probably like another two minute walk that way. So I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to walk between these kids to go get these bursts. And then I remembered, I'm like, wait a second. I don't even have my keys because when I subbed in the game, I gave LeVar my backpack. I said, Cam, where's LeVar? That backpack has my phone, Quincy's phone, Rondo's phone, my car keys are all in this backpack. And, and I'm like, bro, where's LeVar? He has the backpack. Cam goes, LeVar's in the hospital. I said, excuse me? I said, bro, where's the bag? Cam starts to, Cam starts to panic because that's his Burks. So you know those are his shoes. Quincy got his stuff in there. Rondo got his phone in there. I got my stuff in there. So we're all trying to find my backpack. Cam said, hold on, I got to call Quincy's. He called Quincy. Quincy said, oh yeah, LeVar gave the backpack to Quincy's mom. So I'm like, all right, bet. Where's Quincy's mom? Now we gotta go back to the court. I said, Cam, bro, we can't go together because Cam is like, bro, if I follow you to your car to get these burgers, all these kids are gonna come with me. I'm like, bro, I don't wanna have this many people going up to my car, banging on my car, trying to see us off, all this stuff. So I'm like, nah, bro, I'm straight. I'm sitting there like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not with that at all. Cool, bro, I don't know what to do. So somehow, some way, I managed to find throughout all the pictures, all the extra stuff that's going on. I'm like trying to struggle through all these pictures that I'm taking and autographs that I'm signing. I find Quincy's mom. Quincy's mom has the backpack. I'm like, all right, bet. That's problem number one solved. Cool. Now I see Cam out there. By the, by the time I get the backpack from Quincy's mom and I'm just reconciling with her, I look over and I see Cam hopping out with the Uber driver. You know Cam only rock out in Suburbans and black trucks. He hopped out the truck. He yelling, I'm like, is that man Cam yelling? And I'm looking at him, remember, I'm all the way over here, I'm at a distance. So I'm like a three minute walk away, so I'm just kinda looking. I see this man pointing, he's screaming, he's yelling. I'm like, yo, what is going on? Turns out, these imbeciles and YNs done beat the car so bad that they dented the Uber in two places. They done broke all this stuff, they dented the Uber, because they were beating on it as Cam was leaving. So now I'm like, dog, what is going on? Cam dips out, cool. He said, hey, just you hold on to the slides, meet me back at the hotel. Cause obviously if he came to my car, it would have been a whole nother mess of just like having to deal with those kids. So he's like, hey bro, listen, I'ma just hold these kids off right here. Cause they are not gonna go anywhere that I'm not gonna go. I'm like, bet, I'm like, bet, I'ma go find this stuff and then get to the car. He's like, nah bro, just meet me at the hotel. I'll send you the address, meet me there. I'm like, all right, bet, cool. That's, that's a bet, I'm straight with that. Bro, I go back and some of these kids still following me and now, at this point, Cam is dipped. Like Cam is mad, he spazzed out, whatever, he left. He's on his way to the hotel already. So when he leaves, it's he's gone, 
Kenny's gone, Rondo's gone, LeVar has already left. The only people that are left at this park are me and Quincy. So now, in terms of fame hierarchy, it went from being me as like the last person to it being me and Quincy are now the star of the shows. Every single kid was around me. Every single kid started to surround us. I'm stressing. Because when Cam was there, it was at least alleviated. Like some of them were, the, not even some, the majority of them were on Cam. Some of them were on me and Quincy, but it wasn't like OD crazy. A lot of them were on Quincy, actually. Let me, let me not even put it like I'm in the same stratosphere as them. A lot of people were on Quincy, a couple kids were on me, and the, the masses were on Cam. I, got, I probably had like maybe five or 10. Quincy had like 50. Cam had like 200 in terms of like just people that were surrounding them. But now at this point, bro, they all just splitting between me and Quincy and we side by side. So now Cam is gone, everyone else is gone. The only two like famous ones there are me and Quincy. Everybody's coming up taking pictures. These people are doing the most, bro. Me and Quincy are trying to leave, but I'm like, bro, if we walk to my car right now, they're going to do my car as bad as they did the Uber. I can't go like like that. I don't want my car to get broken, bro. I don't want to have people try to like do some meme stuff and damage my car because they think it's funny. Because these kids, these YNs in San Diego don't care about anything, bro. You YNs in San Diego don't care about anything. I hate y'all. So cool, man. Cool. I'm sitting there like Quincy, we gotta devise a plan. So now it's me, Quincy, and his mom. At this point, I'm, I'm starting to get mad, so I take matters into my own hands. I start going kid by kid. I'm like, yo, everybody back up. Me, Quincy, and his mom need to talk, but I can't have these people here in the plan that I'm trying to cook up and craft up and devise. So I'm like, yo, everybody back up. I'll take pictures with y'all. We'll take pictures, we'll do videos, all that stuff. Just everybody, please chill for a second. Please, everybody just back up for a second, just back up. I tell Quincy's mom, I'm like, listen, we need to devise a plan. We need to get an Uber, act like we're leaving, chill for a second, wait for it to die down a little bit, and then come back and take my car, and then me and Quincy go to the hotel to meet, to meet up with Cam. She's like, all right, bet. Turns out, Quincy's aunt was there. They said, just get in the car with Quincy's aunt, they'll drive you. I'm like, all right, bet. Me and Quincy get in the car with his aunt. We take off. When we get in the car, bro, this man Quincy want to do the most, bro. This, bro, we get out of Quincy's aunt's car. This man Quincy's such a superstar. And I'm literally telling, I'm like, bro, Quincy is a superstar. Like, that man is really a superstar. He, all the kids are surrounding this Honda Odyssey that we just hopped in. Quincy hanging out the window with his phone. Talking about some, yeah. All the kids, yeah. Now they starting to beat on the car. And I'm sitting there like, bro, stop beating on the car. Stop beating on the car. Like, like Quincy, let's go. Quincy out there, yeah. Yeah, you know, being a star of the show, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. They take us to this uh, to this garage, or not to this garage, this gas station. We get some little drinks, we come back, we slip in the car before anyone can see us, dip off, go to the hotel. Give Cam his slides, Cam gets his slides, Rondo gets his phone, Rondo lost his ID, but then we found Rondo's ID, Rondo got his phone back, Cam got his slides back, Quincy got his slides back, LeVar is somewhere, I don't know where he's at at this point, Kenny is also somewhere, I don't know where he's at. I'm okay, Quincy's okay, we all got back to the hotel safe and sound. And now it's 202 and I'm making this video for you guys. Yeah, bro. Now San Diego was awful. I'm gonna keep it a buck. San Diego was horrible. Um, I can't, we won't go back. It won't happen. I am, however, thankful. Like today, today was cool, bro. I took over 200 pictures, bro. I kid you not. I was taking pictures. I'm taking videos. They having me. I'm signing stuff. I'm like, bro, I'm feeling like, wow, I might actually be somebody. Like, this is crazy. So. I'm thankful for that aspect of it, but I'm not thankful for the fact that these kids are so rude, bro. Like, it could have been a legendary day. There was over a thousand of y'all, and we were hooping, bro. We would have stayed and kept hooping, but you guys want to be so, like, uh, what's the word? Like, so, you guys just don't care. So you're like, okay, we're just gonna do this funny stuff for the meme and think that it's funny, and then when we leave, and now you just came out here for no reason, it's like, dang, what did, like, what? Like, these kids acting up doesn't help anybody because now they don't get to see us. We don't get to do anything and get anything productive done. Like, everybody loses. So I don't understand. I just can't comprehend why they act like that, bro. I can't understand it.
I cannot. San Diego was was crazy. Uh, for all the new people that are starting to like know who I am, I'm Ness. I do YouTube and do like, you know, little social media stuff, be streaming and stuff. Like I do basketball stuff. So that's how I got locked in with Quincy. Me and Quincy been cool since last year. And then that kind of snowballed into me meeting Cam and being around them and yeah. But this is what we do. So it's cool to give you guys my perspective as someone that's not famous. Cause right now, none of y'all know me for real. Like none of you guys know me. So I'm giving y'all my perspective as someone who really just got on in the last seven hours. I'm just, I'm still adjusting. I'm still thinking about the fact that kids asked for my picture today and they asking me to autograph stuff and they're asking who I am and stuff. Like, bro, I'm still trying to process it. I haven't even had time to process it because I instantly came back home, sat down in this chair and started recording this video. Like after this, I'm gonna sit back and just reflect on today and be like, wow, I'm thankful for the fact that I got to take pictures and I got to be like, be like almost a celebrity for a day. It was cool. But yeah, San Diego, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Even though all that stuff was like sentimental, everything I just said was all nice and sweet. Yeah, bro, I'm still not coming back. Quincy's not coming back. Cam's not coming back. LeVar's not coming back. We're not coming back, bro. So don't blame us, blame yourselves. Um, yeah, video coming soon. And watch, see, y'all might think I'm capping. When this video drops, make sure you come back and refer to this one. Everything I said will come to light and I'll catch y'all I don't know when the video is dropping, but I'll catch y'all when that video drops and y'all better go watch that video and then come back and be like, dang, Nez was right, all right? So y'all better come back and say I was right. All right, bye, I love y'all, but I hate y'all at the same time, bye.